noticed uh, Nick has taken the time to kind of go up to everybody and make sure he gets acquainted with you guys before practice. What does that mean to you as a player, knowing that your head coach is taking the time to get to know you individually? Um, it's just like establishing relationships, and I feel like, you know, you can never get enough of that. That's just like amongst one another, and uh, that's one of our core values, you know, connecting. So I feel like that's part of it. You and Quest seem to have, like, a great relationship. You were both sidelined the first week. Um, how did you guys kind of lean on each other, kind of from perspective that first week, and now that you guys are out there, how much are you enjoying being out there with your buddy? Um, I mean, that's kind of, that's, that's the relationship between all the receivers. And me and Quez, it's just like last year, that was it was just me, him, and John. So it kind of was already, you know, that – relationship but that's just like with Smitty we all cool with Smitty and it's like the whole relationship so it's, I feel like that's the same thing with the coaches as long as we have a great relationship then it's easy to be out on the field with, with your brothers. Can you yeah, provide said, a little more insight into you know the failed conditioning test and how that related to uh, your own personal uh, struggles uh, and what's happening um, with I mean you know it was just you know I just appreciate coach holding me accountable for you know all the things that's going on but like I said that's all in the past and uh I'm just looking forward to the future, and I'm out on the field now, so that's what I'm pretty much focused on. The lower body tightness you had, right. um, how did that happen? When? It, what, at what point during the offseason did that occur? And, um, um, just just training, just, you know, the, the beat down on your legs, running routes, doing everything. So that's just, again, holding myself accountable and then also taking care of my body. It, it all, uh, Dallas Goddard also said that he appreciated being held accountable for his sure. physical. Why is it important for players to feel like there are, you know, consequences to certain things when they are training and trying to get better? Um, that's how it goes. I mean, consequences are, you know, when, especially when it's a team thing. So that's what expected. I didn't expect anything else but to be held accountable for my actions. You mentioned Devontae before. Right. What, what have you seen from him early? What impresses you as a receiver when you look at him as a receiver? Um, just how, like, how smooth he is. And... I mean, we all the receivers bring a different type of feel to the game, and I feel like, especially with us being interchangeable this year, it helps because he's also young. But I mean, we're we're all young. We're a young receiver group, so I feel like it just helps us as a receiver room. Jalen, are you setting any goals for yourself for the second year? Now that you're removed from it, what do you learn from your rookie year? Um, just really just more studying. You got to study, you know, your opponent because it could change. Just like. Yesterday I went against Slay, and then I mean not yesterday, but the day before I went against Slay, and today I went against Stevie. So it's just like you just gotta know what you can do, train yourself, and also you know add moves to you know your arsenal. How intense is Nick with coaching you guys up with everything you do uh, with being a receiver, footwork and all that stuff? Very, he's very intentional. Um, in OTAs it was kind of lax. I feel like he was letting us get the feel of things, but like now he's really on us, and I mean that's what he that's what we expected from him anyway, and that's that's great for him to do as a coach. When you look back at last year, you didn't have the benefit of any of this or OTAs. I mean, how much right. more beneficial is it now to be out here in the locker room meeting your teammates, you know, face-to-face, -face actually? Um, I mean, I feel like just the more time you put in being around each other and then especially being like the quarterbacks, that's the big thing. And then running it as an offense, being together for this long, that's the that chemistry that's, that's being built every day. Speaking of that chemistry, like how, how do you think it's kind of building both with you and Jalen and also with, with Devontae? I mean, like how are you guys kind of working together so far? I mean, just the same things we do every day. Run it, make sure we fine tune everything, being intentional and making sure that if we didn't hit something in practice, we hit it after practice or, you know, we go watch film on it and make sure we add, you know, add that into our routine or whatever we're doing after. We also saw Nick today, I guess he was upset a couple times, guys didn't line up in the right spot right. and kind of let you guys have it as an offense. Right. Uh, how important is that, the accountability and, and how direct he is with you guys? Um, like I said, that's, it's always you know good to be held accountable for your actions. And uh, that's going to train us to, I mean, of course, know where to line up and communicate with each other, you know, who's in it, F, Y, X, whatever the position may be. It's just being held accountable just makes makes it mean much more. You mentioned the play before. Uh, Steve Nelson, veteran corner. Right. What's it like those guys who you know the tricks of the trade working against them? How helpful is that? For it's very helpful. Um, it's just, I mean, those guys have pretty much seen every move you can you can throw at them. So, just having two veteran corners, I mean, you can't get enough of that work. So it's it's it's, it's making us better ultimately. Are you, are you willing to talk about what happened to your friend and, and what that has been like for you? Um, I mean, just that's that's like that was like a little brother to me. So. It was, you know, it was it was hard to deal with, and then you know Saturday was his funeral, so I wasn't able to be there. But it was, you know, it's just it's hard to deal with. But in a mental state, I'm I'm doing I'm doing way better. Nick talked a little bit about how important it is for the team to be a support system for, sure. for players. How much did that mean to you, and, and how much did it help? 
um, like I said, being around, you know, this is like, this is like where I can get away because, you know, you go home, you have family, you know, checking on you and asking you, are you okay? And then, you know, I get, I go in the locker room and I have seven of my teammates, you know, checking on me, but they're also making sure I'm in good spirits. So it's helped. And then with the, with the head coach doing the same thing. I mean, like I said, that's, that's big on every, you know, every standard. How much more is there or less is there to know for a wide receiver in this scheme versus the previous one that you played in? I mean, it's pretty much, like I said, it's been interchangeable. So I feel like it was more stationary. Now it's like everybody got to be able to know the whole concept. Would you say that that had some of the reason to do with some of the issues we've seen with guys not lining up properly? Or do you feel like that's just, just the communication. process of learning? Anymore? Just communication.